This is far from being the most valuable item in our collection, but it is very typical, or rather, of the era we're in at the moment with coronavirus. This is the handbell from the Folkestone Easter Hockey Festival. This bell was used to signify the beginning and the end of all match sessions from the war right through to the end of the Folkestone Festival around 2000. It is, if you like, the mid 20th century version of the air horn and it certainly rang around the large cricket ground at Folkestone which afforded the splendid pitches that the Folkestone Festival enjoyed. So here we have an item that is of the era and also of the era because there were no hockey festivals this Easter, again because of coronavirus. The first time since the war and only about the fourth or fifth time since the festival started back in 1890s. However, this bell has had some life this year during the coronavirus because every Thursday evening I've been standing outside my house with the bell, ringing it together with all my neighbours uh, to thank the NHS for their part in looking after us in this dreadful era. One little anecdote about the, uh, the bell in a sense, but the Folkestone Festival in particular, is that the Folkestone Festival was run by the Miroy family, Neville and Barbara Miroy. Well, I probably should say Barbara and Neville, to be truthful, because it was Barbara's father, Colonel Wegstaff, that formed the festival back in the 1920s and 30s and drew it to the height that it, esta it established itself. And as a recognition of Barbara's help to him as secretary for all the years he ran it, he gave the Folkestone Festival as a wedding present to Neville and Barbara when they got married during World War II. So, as I said, not the most valuable item in our collection, but a significant item, especially at this current time, and one with enormous emotional contacts with hockey.